You may possess the superhuman ability of keeping everything in your head and managing to run and grow a business purely based on trying to remember everything that you need to do. Personally, I can't do that. The only effective way I've found of growing a business is to give yourself goals. And for me, those goals start in January. So as per usual, I'm gonna be totally open and honest with you and share my own personal and business goals. We'll do a full review of my goals from 2019 to see how I got on. And of course, start of a brand new decade I need to set myself some new goals for 2020. You obviously need to manage your own goals for your business and for yourself in a way that you consider appropriate, but hopefully you can pick up a few tips from the way that I do things. I am genuinely so excited about 2020. I've got so much stuff I want to get done. Let's crack on. So before I start, I've already done all of my kind of start of year admin. I talked about that in a bit more detail last year. I'll include a link down in the description below if you want to know a bit more about that. But it basically means I've done all of my backups. I've done my tax returns. I've got my current tax year completely up to date. I've sorted out all my personal finances. I've had a complete clear down of like my desk and everything's just ready to rock for this new year. In terms of backups, if you want us to make a more detailed video about how I back my data up and stuff, I will. It's a bit geeky with the way that I do things because I've got like a lot of video data to back up and things, so it gets a little bit complicated. But essentially at the start of the year, one of the main things that I like to do is take a snapshot of the previous year so that if anything goes horribly wrong, I can rewind back to the beginning of 2020 and I've got a snapshot backup of that point in time so I know I can get everything back to the way it was at the start of the year without too many problems. Data backups is a huge subject, far too much to go into in this video. If you want to know more about that, do let us know down in the comments. Anyway, so as you know, for doing my goals and whatnot, I like to use Google Keep. It works really well. It's nice and simple to use. And the first thing to do is go through the goals from last year, from 2019. Let's see how we got on. So we'll go through the business goals first of all. Complete first aid training. No, I did not do that. I simply didn't have time. What I am going to do is I'm going to add that on a list of kind of back burner goals. And back burner goals is a, a separate list of things that maybe I've decided for whatever reason I'm not going to do them at the minute. But later down the line, I might do them. So I don't want to forget about them. So I've got a separate kind of label here for back burner goals. And you can see I've added a few things into here. I'll show you that in a minute. But back into the business goals from 2019, set up a mailing list for SBT, a small business toolbox, by the way. Set up a mailing list for small business toolbox. Yes, I got that done. I haven't actually announced it anywhere, but please do join it. I'll include a link in the description below because there will be email newsletters coming out that will hopefully be very useful for you. In terms of growth on the YouTube side, my target for Gosforth Handyman was to get to around 60,000 subs. I started the year at 29,850 and uh, hit the 60,000 in October 2019, so that is done. Small Business Toolbox channel started the year at 1,100 subs. The channel was very, very new, but I hit the 5,000 mark in October 2019, so that is done. Get the Gosforth Handyman blog fully up to date with all articles. <laughs> Not a chance. Nope, didn't succeed with that at all. I will be adding it back onto the list for my 2020 goals because I do still want to get that done. I got more things up to date, but nowhere near the whole thing done. Complete two more seasons of the Measuring Up podcast. Um, yeah, pretty much. Season four ends in February this year, so that would essentially be the two seasons done. Complete the Maker Central exhibition. Yep, that was done in May 2019. Do at least three collaborations on Gosforth Handyman. No, I haven't done that. I haven't had time to do that, but I'm not too bothered because I've hit 
the growth target anyway. So again, that's something I might come back to. I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm taking it off the list. At least 10 new videos on the Small Business Toolbox channel. Yes, I added 27 new videos on the Small Business Toolbox channel. So I think we can safely say that that is done. Restructure YouTube playlists and article categories on the Gosforth Handyman, well, on Gosforth Handyman in general. Yes, I did that. That was a nightmare of a job, but uh, done. At least one website advertiser on Gosforth Handyman. So on the Gosforth Handyman um, website, I was looking to get sponsorship and advertising on there. I've actually had several offers of sponsorship and advertising for that channel, but I wasn't happy with any of them and a lot of them were asking for things that were just kind of frankly ridiculous and in any case I feel like that website's not at a stage where I'm even happy to have advertisers on it so for the moment I'm holding fire I've got affiliate links on there and whatnot and they are just fine for now they don't make a huge amount but it's uh, enough to kind of keep things running actually let me just Double check the back burner thing and check that I've added these on. I haven't put on collaborations, GHM Regions. Is that how you spell it? I think so. Workshop upgrades. No, I haven't done any of these and for very good reason, uh, because we're potentially moving house and none of these are now appropriate. So they're gonna be again added into the back burner list or I've already put them in the back burner list and we'll come back to that at an appropriate time, but that is not now. And then I had a bunch of stretch goals as well, at least two new downloads on beginner drums. Uh, I don't think I did that. I'm gonna tick it off because at the minute beginner drums is still kind of, you know, it's ticking over in the background, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll come back to that for the 2020 goals. Uh, at least five new videos on Andy Matt Drums. Actually, yes, I did, because I've resurrected my Andy Matt Drums channel as a, a kind of dumping ground for videos that don't fit on other channels. And I've added quite a lot of videos onto the Andy Matt Drums channel, way more than five. So yeah, I've done that. And at least two new videos on beginner drums. No, I haven't done that, haven't had time, uh, just, it ain't happened, so I'm gonna take that off. But I did end up adding a whole bunch of new goals that weren't on the original list, and I'll quickly run through those. New plans and products on the Gosforth Handyman website. Yes, I did add some more products and whatnot on there. Add a reference index on the Gosforth Handyman website. That's something I've been wanting to do for a little while, just to make it easier for people to find articles on particular subjects. And yes, I have done that. Tidy up affiliate links and descriptions on all Gosforth Handyman YouTube videos. Oh my God, that took so long. 250 videos. The most I could do was about 10 or 20 a day. And uh, yeah, I, I did that. I managed to get all 250 videos updated with new affiliate links and descriptions and I updated the thumbnails and uh, general video descriptions on everything and on the well the website's kind of a work in progress we'll come back to that another one that got added to the list was completing at least one public speaking event which I did at the Durham uh, go digital live event I think it was called go live digital anyway and that went really well really enjoyed it uh, it's something I'm hoping to do again this year, so watch this space. Resurrect LinkedIn, that's been kind of on my back burner for a long time and I have eventually managed to sort my LinkedIn profile out and get that all up to date, so that's kind of done. Release a series on Small Business Toolbox about how to create your own business website. Yes, that is up and running. It's a work in progress and it kind of always will be a work in progress. Watch this space, we'll see where that actually goes. But yes, that, that is on there. And finally, and this was a bit of an unexpected one, is that I decided to close down my main woodworking business to concentrate on content creation full time. This has really turned into a full time gig now. I haven't got time to do anything else. In fact, I haven't even got time to do the stuff that I'm trying to get done. And yeah, again, watch this space, 2020 is a very exciting year, got a lot of stuff planned. So yeah, there we go for business goals for 2019. I'll quickly run you through personal goals as well. Um, it's good to put some personal goals together, I think, at the start of the year. I think otherwise you tend to forget about things that you might want to get done, and you do need to make time for family and just 
a bit of downtime and things like that. So my list of stuff for 2019 was um, swap the kids' rooms around, and that uh, got done around February, so that was done. Decorate at least one room in the house. I can't really claim credit for that because Mrs. Mack did most of that. We actually got two rooms in the house done. Complete the 100 press-up challenge. Uh -uh. (laughs) I got to about 60. I didn't do very well on that, I'm afraid. (laughs) Again, not enough time lack of commitment, general laziness. But um, yeah, I'm going to try that again for 2020. So that'll be going on my 2020 personal goals. Same goes for the pull-up challenge as well. That was a bit of a kind of half-assed thing anyway. So I have got that as a more formal goal for 2020. I would like to try and get to 30 pull-ups if possible. We shall see. Climb at least one mountain with the family. Yeah, we kind of did that. (laughs) You could probably call it more of a big hill. We did quite a few big walks and things like that. So yeah, we did that. Complete the Via Ferrata Extreme with my wife. And yes, we did that in July and it was absolutely amazing over in the Lake District. Highly recommend it as long as you're not scared of heights. Eat red meat no more than once per month. Yes, I've massively cut down on red meat consumption and meat consumption in general, going down the kind of flexitarian route. Sort front garden, that was kind of just a, a, a job that needed to add. Actually, did I do a video about it? I can't remember. Anyway, May 2019, I did that. Uh, not very exciting. Go to a music festival with the family. Yes, we did that in June. And there was also an added goal, more of a personal goal, which was to sort my mum's house out. My mum is in care and has been for a long time, and we had a lot to do in the background in terms of her house had been sitting empty for a long time, and I can't explain the amount of work that's gone in behind the scenes to sort all of that out, but it is done now. Uh, There's a lot of stuff like that. I can't really go into the personal side of it in in too much detail. But my mum's still doing fine. She's in a care home. She's not very well, but um, she's comfortable and happy. So let's have a look at the goals I've set up for 2020. Um, We'll run through the business goals first, and then I'll quickly show you the personal goals. So Gosforth Handyman, I've split this up now per kind of um, YouTube channel or per business area, if you like. So Gosforth Handyman... I started the year at 70,800 subscribers. It would be lovely if I could get that to 120,000, which is basically double what my target was for last year. Uh, I haven't gone for double 70,000 because I do have a lot of other stuff going on at the minute. I wouldn't like to guarantee I can double that figure. If I can get to 120,000, I'll be pretty happy. Get the Gosworth Handyman blog fully up to date with all articles. Yeah. I've got to get that done. I'll be saying at the start of next year, no, still haven't done it. At least 40 new videos on Gosforth Handyman. Yes, hopefully we'll get that done. I'll tell you what I'm going to do here. I'm going to add a goal in here. We've talked about smart objectives before, and I think one of the problems here is that get Gosforth Handyman blog fully up to date isn't very specific. So what I'm going to do is say let's try and get 40 new blog articles written um a lot more than that need done and 40 is a huge amount we'll add that on anyway 40 new blog and then at least if i don't hit the target of getting every blog article done maybe i can just get 40 new ones done Uh, we we shall see watch this space small business toolbox channel i would like to get to fifteen thousand subs on this channel now that is a a big ask because i'm only at six thousand seven hundred and eighty at the minute it's still a very young and very small channel but i would like to try and boost this up a little bit and if we can get to fifteen thousand, i would be over the moon add the mailing list onto the website yes i still haven't sorted that out I, I would really like to get that done but please do subscribe to it link in the description at least 20 new videos on small business toolbox i would also like if possible to complete maybe two public speaking events this year 
Um, I would also like to build at least one online course, not necessarily on this channel. It may go on a different channel. Watch this space. And there's something else happening that I can't tell you about quite yet. But again, watch this space, subscribe, and all will become clear. Very exciting things happening behind the scenes. Beginner Drums channel, I would like to give this a little bit of a reboot because it's still getting a lot of views on the website and it's still growing. So a few kind of little sub goals on that that I'd like to get done. And then on my little Andy Mac Drums channel, which is kind of, as I say, it's a dumping ground, but I do like putting the odd video out there because there's no pressure, you know, I can put whatever I like on there. You know, maybe if I can put 10 new videos on that channel, that might be good. And there's another project starting up. Uh, I can't tell you about it quite yet. Uh, watch this space, that's all I can say. And doubtless there'll be other goals added to this over the course of the year, but I think that's plenty to keep me started and hopefully keep me focused at the start of the year. Then for personal goals, no, this is the biggie. We are, of course, trying to move house. If you're not already aware of that, there's going to be loads more information about it over on the Gosforth Handyman channel because I'm planning a whole series of videos surrounding the move and renovation of a property and everything that goes in hand with that. The stuff that needs to go on behind the scenes to make all of this work is phenomenal. I need to prepare our current house for sale. In other words, take everything down off walls and fill all the holes and hopefully I can get a few videos out of that. I need to prepare a seller pack for whoever's going to buy the house. We need to actually sell the house. I need to put my workshop in the storage. We need to buy the renovation property. We're probably going to have to move into a rental property temporarily while I'm doing the initial start of the renovation because there'll not be any central heating or anything like that. I would imagine in the property that we buy and I want to get the the major work done before we move in and then because of that there's going to be mid move admin there's going to be change of address COA is just change of address admin that needs to be done if we're moving to a rental property I then need to get the initial property renovation all complete so that the house is in a state that we can actually move into it we then need to move house for potentially a second time this year and then there's all the post move admin as well, all the change of address and admin stuff that needs to be done after you've moved house. So a lot to do there. I still want to complete the 100 press up challenge that's on my list. I've reduced the 30 pull up thing down to 20. Let's be realistic here. I have barely got to about five. Complete at least three big family walks. If I don't put it on the list, we'll kind of forget about it and just vegetate. So I would like to complete at least three nice big walks somewhere. Go to a music festival of some description. Have a freaking holiday because, oh God, I'm knackered. I could really do with just a week off. I would really like us to buy an electric car of some description. I don't know if that's going to happen or not. I don't have my truck anymore. We currently just have our little Fiesta as a runaround and we're weighing up our options. But we don't want to do anything until we've started this whole house move process because what I might end up having to do is just buy some sort of um, utility vehicle of some description so that I can actually do work on the house because I don't want to get like a shiny electric car and then be lugging around bags of concrete in it and stuff like that. So um, I don't know. I would like that to happen before the year's out. We shall see. And then there's other personal stuff happening that I can't really tell you about, I'm afraid. But um, yeah, just things behind the scenes that are all related to me mum and, and things and it, it's just too personal to go into on here but it needs to be done and I need to have it in my mind that I need to allow some time for those things to be done and that's it for 2020 a big set of business goals big set of personal goals as per usual we'll see how we get on and we've still got the back burner goals as well but I don't think they're going to be happening this year but we'll we'll come back to that so there you go, folks. I hope you can pick up some tips from that that might help your business. You need to manage your goals in a way that works for you. It doesn't have to be on Google Keep. It can be in a spreadsheet or it can be on paper. However you want to do it is completely up to you. I can pretty much guarantee if you implement smart objectives and goals for your business, you will see growth like you have never seen before. Remember in the world of self-employment, the only person telling you what to do is you. 
So if you don't give yourself targets and then measure yourself on those targets, you won't progress. I would love to hear some of your goals for 2020 and for the decade. Pop them in the comments below. One of the big benefits of me sharing my goals with you is that I'm much more likely to actually do them if someone else is gonna come back and say, well, why didn't you bother doing that? Have a fantastic 2020, folks. I am genuinely really excited about what the future holds right now. Don't forget to subscribe to my new newsletter, smallbusinesstoolbox.uk slash newsletter, and you can sign up on there. I promise you're not gonna get spammed. Good luck on your small business journey, and I shall see you next time. Bye-bye. Everything is fine. Everything is fine.